Thanks for joining me again. This is Matt from Dice of the Round Table with another video. Please subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the content. Want to be notified of future videos, as well as like the video if you if the content's awesome. And also in the description, you find how you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as the website. And again, comment away if I say something wrong, uh, point it out. Please, it'll be better for everyone. So, um, with that, we're going to be talking about bolt action and assaulting infantry today. So, let's get to the table and I'll work out some examples. So, what we have today is we got a unit of Americans, I got a unit of Germans, and right now, when you're assaulting, let's just talk about the basics. They're going to uh, give the order. If there's pins, take the order test. Then, you have to run. So, then you're going to go... Like this, if the Americans are assaulting the Germans, they are within 12. I'm going to move. And what you do is you're going to close this model, the closest model, which is probably right here. That is within 12. I'm going to move them. I do know that everyone can be in contact because I measured there and to here. Yep. So I'm going to move them in contact. Now, a couple different things. One, I know they can reach. However, I also know that they were more than six inches away. If the German player has not given an order, they can react and fire. That means they get to shoot at me coming in. Resolve the shooting and any casualties. Then, the attacker goes first. It kind of is assumed that they're tossing grenades, whatever. When you're assaulting, you're rolling to kill. So, let's say the Americans take no casualties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would get seven dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any assault weapons or any figures with tough fighter, if they hit, they get to roll again. They do have an SMG in here. That counts as an assault weapon. So you want to make sure you're rolling that as a separate dice. So I could probably say that would be the gray dice. You are rolling two wounds. So if they're veterans, I'm killing on fives. The gray dice did not hit. That was a four. But I did resolve two hits. I do have an exceptional. I could take out. Nope. I just take out two. Two Germans are gone. The German player has one, two, three dice now. Because it was a five-man unit, casualties are removed. I, and the Americans are, let's say, regular. But I only killed one with a six. Two versus one. The Americans cause more casualties. The Americans win. The Germans are gone. You roll a d6. I can move them five inches any direction I want. This was a straightforward example. Now let's say for some reason the German player took two casualties. The Americans took two casualties. Do it again. You keep going until a unit's destroyed, or one unit killed more models than the other unit. But from that point on, they're going at the same time. So I'll be rolling three dice for the Germans, and one, two, three, four, five dice for the Americans. And everyone has a chance to hurt someone. Now, let's talk about some other scenarios. Da -da -da -da. Okay. The Germans are behind the stone wall. Okay. The Americans are here. The Americans are within six inches. That is so called a surprise. The German player cannot react. They cannot fire at me going in. I can move in and assault them over the stone wall. However, because I'm fighting over the obstacle, the Americans are not attacking first. It's going to be the American seven dice, three, six, seven, versus the German five. These will happen at the same time, and so forth until one side is the winner. Now let's say there's a stone wall. There is a river here, and I got to go through this river crossing to get there. I got my figures here. I'm charging. I am measuring this. I am going to hit the obstacle, but not them. 
Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Eh, nope. So, two things happen. One, because I'm going through rough ground, I only move six inches, which means they're just short. Because you need to be in base-to-base -base contact. That's it. They stop. You have to go the shortest distance, and it's visible to visible model. So if they were here on the river ford already, they are within six inches of the enemy, the closest model, the closest model. So they will be in base to base contact, but they are only moving six inches. And because they're within, it was like five inches, it's a surprise and so no counter fire. Let's do this. Now let's say there is this going on. There is a true forward, uh, a dense terrain forest. Dense terrain blocks line of sight. Let's say the American player positions their infantry like this. He is just clipping the terrain. The closest visible model is here because this would be tra going over the terrain. So I can see them. I'm going to measure the distance from here to here. It is not going over rough terrain. So I get to move 12 inches. So my furthest guy can go here. And get in contact. So I can assault them. I went around the stone wall. So there is no obstacle. So in this scenario. The Americans are striking first. And if the Germans did not have an order. They could shoot me coming in. Let's do another one. Now remember, you're measuring from closest model to closest model. We have some rough terrain here. We got dragon teeth. This is just like the river ford. This is rough terrain, so it takes me from, on a run order, but goes from 12 inches to 6 inches. Now, I can run. The shortest path is through it, so I can get there. Um, the other, because... When I had the woods, we went around it. This one, we're going right through it. And then it will be simultaneous assault since I'm going through the wall. The other one I could go around. Um, if this is closest, well, actually, I could probably... Nope, you could run around and be good. The issue would be, let's say, the wall kept going. You couldn't run around the wall. Because um, you would have, I would get here. So you have to take that into account. Um, going with the rough terrain, obstacles, and so. So that's infantry assaulting infantry. Remember, if you're going through rough terrain, it's six inches of movement only. If you're within six inches, the enemy is not shooting you. If it's over six inches, they can shoot you if there's no order. If you're attacking and there is no defensible terrain, then the attacker kills first, then you roll your counter. If there is defensible terrain, then it's simultaneous throughout. Tough fighters get to re-roll any hits, but it has to be a hit. If there's no hit from a tough fighter, then there's no re-rolling for a second chance on that one. And that's some an overview of assaulting. Um, I, I feel like I'm missing something, but if I am, let me know in the comments. But hope that explains infantry assault. Thanks for checking out.